Hello and welcome back lovers of STEM and robotics. Today let's talk about levels of robot intelligence as it's tied to their levels of control. And it goes from teleoperation or remote control to fully autonomous. Semi-autonomous robots mean that the human may control the robot sometimes and the robot is viewed as a peer or partner in the workspace with the human. In guided control, the human provides waypoints to the robot which the robot then executes by using reactive control. Reactive control would be things like wall following, obstacle avoidance, go to a via point, etc. In shared or traded control, the human provides the robot with a task, but may interrupt the robot with feedback or perceptual inputs or interrupt execution if necessary, such as if the robot gets stuck. In supervisory control, the human is involved but routine or safe tasks are handled autonomously by the robot, so the robot shares in planning with the human. In teaming or collaborative control, the human and robot collaborate to decide on goals and sequencing together. And finally, in fully autonomous control, the highest level of intelligence for a robot, the human initiates the task, but does not interact with the robot anymore after execution. Some robots share space with humans and their autonomy allows the robot to maintain a sense of position and navigate without human intervention. And this is our lesson today on levels of robot control. I hope you enjoyed. Please come back again.